Welcome everyone to our Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group. Today is Monday, September the 21st, 2020. I already shared the minutes. And last time we canceled because I can't even remember. I think it was Labor Day. Labor Day. Thank you. I can't keep it straight. I slept well, so my, my, I had a very sharp sharp uh, thing today. <laughs> very sharp memory of that day perfect sharp something that day. <laughs> so last time we had decided to work on a blog post series and combine the content into a more elaborate white paper so that we uh, can. I was just going to say, sorry, Georg, that I remember um, Sean actually shared a link to some document he already drafted. I think it was on the Matrix channel. Oh, draft, draft is a very strong word. <laughs> I, I outlined <laughs> how I would structure one, but uh, there's no actual real content right now. Okay. Which enough. is where it was when I, when I posted it, and I'm afraid I just did not find the time to. Uh, do any more on it since then. But yes, I did post something. Yeah, I'll put it in the document so we have it right here. Uh, and thank you, Sean, for putting some lorem ipsum dolor text in there. also had a blog post draft. We also have a link, I think, above for the blog post, but I, if I remember correctly, it was, it's not working. Um. I just put one in the in the minutes and it works for me. Yeah, that one works. The one above doesn't. One above. Like here. Yeah, that one. Oh. You're right. Well, let's update that. <laughs> Okay, um, so where would you all like to continue? Sean, do you want to maybe share your screen and walk us through what you were thinking on this uh, draft you created? I can try, let's see. I can also share my screen. Oh, host it's disabled easy. says you won't let me. I won't let you. I'm yeah. so mean. <laughs> okay, I allowed everyone to share. That should work. Uh, let's see. Right. Hopefully that's working. Can you, is that, are you seeing my browser window? Yes. Excellent. Wow. I like when stuff works. Um, all right, so I, I just put together uh, just kind of a structure uh, with no real content other than lips and text. Um, just for, you know, what I would consider to be kind of the, the structure and outline and basic look of a, of a full on white paper that you'd publish. That's something that you'd expect people to, um, you know, spend some time digesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, start out with a, a little um, um, 
kind of intro to to the group. Uh, so I, I would imagine if we were to publish each one of these for each of the personas that we're working through, each one would kind of share the same intro, um, not assuming that anybody's read any other white papers. So like this is the, you know, the app ecosystem working group in chaos and we're working on this stuff. This, this particular paper is geared towards, in this case, event organizers. Um, and a bit of an explanation of the, the um, goal question metric approach so that people know what it is they're going into uh, and reading. Um, and then I just put in uh, just some of the stuff that for each goal, uh, I would imagine you would talk about. So, you know, kind of an explanatory prose on uh, what the goal is, why it's important. Um, and, uh, and then for the, for the questions, for the metrics, um, you know, how they, how they support the goal, right? Because that's their purpose is to support the overall goal. Um, occasionally, we had some things where, you know, we, we put maybe notes in our, in our uh, minutes documents about, um, you know, maybe why we, why we, what our thinking was on particular things or how people might uh, apply um, questions differently um, because a lot of times right we're, we're providing kind of the scaffolding uh, but people might choose um, how they're going to apply these questions so any kind of any further background information like that 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 might be interesting to people um, would be in there um, and then uh, it's nice to to break up walls of text uh, nobody likes to read just text and text and text with nothing to break it up. And so I think some of the nice things to break it up would be, uh, and I put that here, is, is uh, some poll quotes about why that might be important to your community or projects that you've worked with. Uh, but then also just some really nice kind of sample charts. Like here's here's what a bar chart might look like or a pie, you know whatever chart is appropriate for the particular metric. Uh, but here's what a chart might look like for a particular community, uh, not necessarily showing real data or anything, just like, Here's how you might present this information visually, you know, and that that breaks up the text. It makes it prettier. It makes it a little bit more fun to read. Um, and then the rest of this is really just, uh, you know, the level two headings, goal, level three headings, questions, and then under those would be metrics. Um, and it's it's literally other than the, I mean, the text is all of course fake text, but the the questions and goals under here are are just exactly what you'd find in our. Um, in, in our working document. Cool. Would it make sense to structure the question text also to some extent? To structure what do you how? Mean? Like, uh, I don't know, we have why, what we're counting and things like that, the way we had it on the, on the document initial one. So what data we're gathering, why we're gathering, something like that. Just brainstorming here. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we do have for all the questions, of course, we have the, the metrics and those are all in, uh, let's see, this document here is our, was our working document. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I, I'm signed in to different Google accounts on different tabs. This is fine. Um, but I would imagine, you know, we would actually put all of these metrics under, I just didn't get into like level four headings and I wasn't sure if that was even the right presentation. Um, maybe some sort of, I don't know, but I, definitely I would want to see all of these metrics come over. Uh, the questions on their own are not, um, are, are not actionable, right? The, I mean, the, the metrics are what give the action to support the questions, which support the goals. Yeah, I, I was thinking more of, should we go with maybe a bullet point approach or free flowing text in these, let's say, questions? Does it also make, I, I, I mean, I'm looking at the, the questions and um, do we, we don't have one that's focused on organizing community. I mean, uh, the people organizing the conference in terms of, I, I'm not talking about diversity, but retaining, right? Because when I look at 
loss, for instance, you know, we, we get, it's been the same people for four years or whatever it is, right? But we have burnout or whatever, like how good is our retention? Is that, is that a valid question or? Are you, are you proposing adding more questions into our? How into our thing? <laughs> I, I guess, I guess I'm, I'm trying to decide if, if that, that is a valid metric. It is yeah. retainment of the organizing community. It's just what we're focused on. I think retention of your organizers for anything, uh, events included, is a very important thing to be considering as a community. And, and maybe that's something we want to add, or maybe we want to add it. I, I considered that, that what we might do is, is publish, as we have, uh, go through the other things, and then as an ongoing exercise, we may return to um, um, particular personas or groups of, of uh, questions and metrics um, and, and add on to them. And then you can kind of republish these documents, make new blog posts, you know, like make a version two or whatever of the, in fact, like here I have, I could, I think this would be better as like version one published on whatever. And I only put my name, I didn't, I didn't mean to like, your name too. Right. I, I'm not glory hounding here. Don't worry about the names. <laughs> but I think I do think white papers should should have bylines on them to uh, to give credit to people. So I've gone silent because I have an idea in my head and I wanted to prototype it out. So sorry if I'm being overly quiet right now. Mm. Yeah, you know, sure. You, we do have kind of the goal of retaining contributors, but it, uh, our questions on that are geared towards how well the event uh, helps us retain contributors to the project that the event's supporting, as opposed to uh, how well we're retaining contributors to the event itself. Mm. Sad. I was on it. Um, I was looking at the one with contributors, like first time events, and I guess. That could also mean organizing committee. I guess uh, when we say contributor, I sometimes not sure if that means um, like that's just to the conference, like the event itself. Like let's say, I mean, I mean, we, if you're looking at different events, let's say like a hack fest which contributors makes a lot of sense there. But 
larger events, organized events like Quadic and Academy. How's that? How does contributors work there? I'm just asking questions. I, I mean, I mean, I do think the larger events are um, also about attracting and, and retaining your uh, contributors, mm -hmm. but it, it may be more difficult to measure. Um, yeah. That their effect, you know, because people don't necessarily go there uh, to to do the work while they're there. You know, they go there to have conversations and then work when they get home. Is is contributors in in that context like? Would you consider a speaker a contributor? Like, I, I guess that's where I'm struggling a little bit on what a contributor definition is. That yeah, I guess it's because kind of, uh, it's kind of an outsider of the community very often, like when we have events, right? So it might make sense to define them separately. Yeah, because a speaker is, an is the attraction, right? We come to a conference to hear speakers. So not consider them, I guess, contributors. I mostly go to conferences for the hallway track, but sure, yeah, speakers are attractions. <laughs> That's the secret behind conferences. Yeah. <laughs> We're just there to meet our friends. <laughs> um, Actually, trying to bring the experience of hallway tracks into online events was one of the big challenges when hosting one of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, we manage like rather well at the academy. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Okay, I. So, so while you were discussing hallway tracks, I. Uh, can I share my screen? I yep. put Do together I have to a. Oh no, I can just kick you oh. out. Oh. <laughs> um, so do you see this page that I put together in PowerPoint? Yes. So just from a format perspective, um, I was thinking for each question, we could put together a page like this, where at the top we remind everyone what the goal is. And this can be uh, smaller, it doesn't have to be so big. Then we have the big question that we want to ask. And then we have an explanation of, or commentary about what this is. And this is the top box. And then we put for each metric um, in here with visualization, a little description, uh, where to get the data. And I think for the data, we can just keep it very short, let's say survey or whatever. And then we have an appendix where we explain what survey actually means, what that data source means. So I would not explain how to get the data here on this page. That makes sense and avoids duplication. I like that and I like repeating the goal because you know, people don't necessarily just read things straight through. They do, they do thumb through and they look for stuff and, and putting the goal kind of like always there with the question uh, is a good reminder so they don't have to, you know, flip back seven pages to know what the context is. Just a question about logistics for this. Are we um, going to do this in Google Slides or something that is collaborative? I would hope we do it in something that is more collaborative than PowerPoint. <laughs> I just okay. had this idea in my head listening to you talk about how we want to organize this and I just need to get it on paper. I think we can, oh, we yeah. can do something like this in a, in a Google Doc. Uh, yeah. I, this will, yes, love this. Yeah. Looks great. And we can we can have different colors or different formats. 
Uh, I just thought um, having these borders around the metric description data part to signify, hey, this is one unit of information that you can collect, including the visualization. And sometimes the question has multiple ways of answering it. So mm -hmm. there are different units. And then we can, if we could move all of this down um, and put quote, oh, this takes too long. We could move this down and then if you wanted a quote here, we can put uh, here a nice uh, quote box. <clears throat> you get the idea. Mm -hmm. Here with a nice oh, image from one that. of these. PowerPoint has a fancy pants quote maker. <laughs> Georg, I'm going to hire you every single time I have to do a talk to make my slides all cool. Because your skills are badass, I'm just saying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so, so anyway, that was my thought. I thought I shared that with you. I like that it, it, it breaks up the, uh, what would otherwise be a wall of text, which is good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try yeah. to butcher this document and uh, approach something more like that. So thinking about Google Docs versus Google Slides, um, with Google Docs, we would, I, I think we could do it in Google Docs, but I don't know if it has the nice way of including visuals the way that Google Slides would. And to think it even further, this is, if we wanted to change something on the formatting, it would be nice to do it in a so somewhere where we can just, you know, define a style sheet, like LaTeX or even Word is more powerful than Google Docs when yeah. it comes to formatting. Google Docs has very rudimentary style sheets, but you know, uh, I am a uh, recovering LaTeX um, uh, expert. And uh, I, I don't imagine that many other people uh, would be keen on going down that road with me. So I, I used to do a lot of tech. I used to do quite a lot of it, but it's been. <laughs> he used been, to keep uh, up too. But, but I don't okay. want to tell you how long it's been because then I'll <laughs> tell you how old I am. So <laughs> I, I'm just thinking what is the right place for us to advance now. We can, having this idea in mind, we can develop the content in Google Docs and then go and format it later. Uh, if we wanted to, we could, spin, we could um, go to LaTeX and use something like Overleaf to edit and manage the document. But yeah, it, it's a pain, I know. Mm. Um, but then we can look at the formatting and see how it evolves as we go. I'd say for now, we keep it in Google Docs. That, that's what my recommendation is. Okay. That makes it at least easy for people to just jot text down and stuff and get the content in. Yep. I'll upload this design to our notes somehow. I have my 
my very, very used copy of the textbook. Doesn't even have a cover anymore. I, I think I still have my LaTeX book by Leslie Lamport. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay, so I captured the idea in the minutes, so we can refer back to it later. Um, so I, I like I like the white paper. I like what we were talking about. Um, last time we had started on the block post as an early way of sharing what we do. And we talked about maybe reusing some of that later for the, for the white paper. So for example, where we explained the goal question metric approach, maybe in the blog post, we can be a little bit more elaborate and then condense it for the white paper. And I, I think right now we have a whole bunch of bullet points that need to be converted to uh, text. So if we wanted to spend the next 10 minutes working on this, everyone picks a section and converts the bullet points to text or something like that. That's a suggestion. If you don't want to do it, we can do something else. Oh, sounds like a good idea. We need to shape this up to a blog post. So, okay, who wants which section? First come, first serve. I'll take the last section that remains. Um, I'm happy with anything. Um, I'm, I am too, but, uh, I guess so. Just to be clear, we're talking about the blog post, right? For yes. No, no, anywhere else. All right. I'm happy to assign the sections if you want me to. I think so. Well, okay. So when we talk about sections, what, how, how are you breaking this up? Cause I'm looking at it right now and it doesn't look like. There are headings, each yeah. heading to me is one section. So in origin story of the chaos app ecosystem working group, someone needs to convert those bullet points to a nice paragraph. Goal question metrics, someone needs to convert that. Um, to nice I'll, do the, I'll do the origin story since probably makes the most sense since I had the hand, I had a hand in it, so. I could Thank do you. a use case. Awesome. I'll, I'll try to take a crack at the goal question metric. Excellent, I'll, thanks, Sean. Uh, rely on you to um, check me. Perfect. Maritzi, do you want to do something? Yes. Do you have an idea of what? As I mentioned, I don't mind. We have implications and conclusions and introduction still available. Um, okay. I could do, I'm not sure if I have enough uh, info for implications, but I can try to work on that one anyway and get input from you all. Okay, then I'll do the introduction. I'll do the conclusion, <laughs> like the easiest one, sorry. Thanks a lot, the best. And this is a blog post, it's not an academic paper, but I just don't know how to write any other way. So if you want a different structure, <laughs> you can also change it around.
Hey, I have a quick question. This meeting that's happening right now, is this open to whoever? Like, can yes. I put that in the conclusion? Okay. It is, it is truly incredible being able to collaboratively uh, work on a document, but the occasional jumping of the text oh, yeah. uh, is, is, is like a little disconcerting. <laughs> so I have a solution for that. Oh yeah. If you put a page break before your text, oh, then yeah. you'll stay on the same page. Uh huh. Or you just disable the page uh, view. When you go to view, you change it, deactivate print layout. Oh, because it's, it's the jumping is caused by hopping across page. Oh, yeah, okay. No, that's clever. But a page break would certainly keep you in a very fixed space, unless somebody's working on your, on your paragraph, but. Yeah. Or, you do what I did, you take the first section, <laughs> then you don't have any room above you.
So I really like how this blog post is coming together. We are almost, almost out of time. But I think we can see how even in 10 minutes working together, we can make big progress here. So thank you already. Is anyone interested in working on this before our next meeting? Absolutely. Yeah, I could at least for, like complete, conclude my part. Yeah, same here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just put in the notes that um, action items, everyone. And then hopefully by next time we can polish it off and publish it. Um, I'm also going to say um, for everyone to read and comment on the sections that the others wrote. I think that's good. It's always enjoyable to be working with you all. Any, any comments, thoughts, questions? No, I don't think so. Then I will get out of your hair. Okay. If you want to continue working on it now, that's great, but I'm officially closing the meeting. All righty. That was good. All right. Bye everybody. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye.